Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Intellipath. In this video, we will try to understand how to crack any data science interview. So preparing for a data science interview is important for everyone. The majority of applicants find it difficult to get through the hiring process. Despite the fact that you have participated in many discussions or interviews, each one is a fresh learning opportunity. Now let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we'll see who actually is a data scientist. Then, what are the steps a data scientist needs to follow? Then, what are the most important topics for a data science interview? Fourthly, we'll see what are the categories of a data scientist role. Then, we'll see some tips and tricks for cracking data science interviews. And lastly, a simple conclusion. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss any updates from us. Let's take a look at our first agenda, that is what or who is a data scientist. So an expert who accumulates and examines big data sets of organized and unstructured data is known as a data scientist. As a result, they are often referred to as data wranglers. The task of fusing different mathematical and statistical methodologies is one that all data scientists perform. They process, model, and analyze the data before using it to create actionable plans for the organization. Let's take a look at what are the steps a data scientist needs to follow. Firstly, we have collecting the data, then cleansing and processing the data. Then we have combining and preserving the data. Then we have analyzing exploratory data. Next comes deciding which prospective models and algorithms to use. Then we have utilizing numerous data science methods such as statistical modeling, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Then we have results measurement and improvement, presenting the stakeholders with the final results, adjusting as necessary in response to input, and lastly, repeating the procedure to address a different issue. Now, what are the most important topics for a data scientist interview? Firstly, we have writing functions, logic, control flow, searching and sorting algorithms, object-oriented programming, and utilizing third-party libraries, as well as all common data structures like data types, lists, dictionaries, sets, and tuples. Then we have the creation of Python scripts to extract, format, and store data into files or back into databases. Thirdly, we have using NumPy, managing multidimensional arrays, slice, transpose, broadcast, and generate pseudo-random numbers. Then executing vectorized operations using NumPy and other scientific computing packages. Then we have series data frames, indexing within a data frame, comparison operators, merging data frames, mapping, and applying functions are all examples of data manipulation techniques with pandas. Then we have wrangling data using pandas, includes testing for null values, imputed values, grouping, describing, exploratory analysis, and more. Lastly, the API hierarchy, adding styles, colors, and markers to a plot, understanding different plots and when to use them, line plots, bar plots, etc. And Seaborn, for more complex plotting, are all part of data visualization with matplotlib. Now, there are a number of categories of data scientist roles. Let's try to name a few of them. Firstly, we have data analyst. Firstly, we have data analyst. Data scientists with expertise in this field often concentrate on forecasting, offering knowledgeable and business-related insights, and spotting strategic opportunities. They mostly concentrate on business intelligence, to put it briefly. They design dashboards, come up with solutions for various business-related problems, and effectively communicate data-supported results to key stakeholders in the business. As a result, they require data visualization software like Tableau, and data warehousing expertise in order to provide forecasts. Next, we'll talk about data scientist generalist. Companies frequently employ data science generalists that delve into massive amounts of data for building simulations, the creation of optimization algorithms, constructing experimental systems, utilizing models and algorithms to locate valuable insights, forming sound recommendations, and lastly, giving the company's stakeholders input in light of their findings. Next, we'll talk about a machine learning engineer. In large tech companies, a machine learning specialist or engineer typically holds a graduate degree or a doctorate in computer vision, deep learning, or NLP, that is, natural language processing, to help the business develop new algorithmic models that power the company's streaming services, web services, 
and other business components, data scientists in this field primarily concentrate on cutting-edge research in fields like deep learning, NLP, streaming data analysis, video recommendations, and social networks. Next, we have data engineer. Building tools or solutions for use both inside and outside the firm is the primary emphasis of the data engineering team. It also develops data pipelines and its functions closely resembles that of the engineers that work in machine learning. Lastly, we have statistician. The statistician's responsibility is to deal with both theoretical and practical statistics in order to accomplish the necessary business objectives. He possesses critical abilities including data visualization from which it may be deduced that he has become an expert in particular data scientist disciplines. Now let's take a look at some tips for cracking DS interviews. Firstly, we have study the company and the role. This is possibly the most important component of interview preparation for data science. Candidates that have taken the time to learn about the business and understand how data scientists may contribute will stand out to recruiters. Next, we have examine your portfolio and past projects. The data science portfolio you have will get you an interview, even though it won't be enough to get you employed. So give your portfolio the same amount of attention you would to your resume. Additionally, be sure to showcase your most pertinent projects in your portfolio and customize them to the organization you're applying for. Next, we have refresh your memory of foundational ideas. You will need not to show off your technical expertise to ace your data science interview. Technical recruiters want to see that you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals, whether you are just starting out or seeking a senior level post. In order to be prepared for your data science interview, you should review the following technical concepts that are probability, statistics, hypothesis testing, descriptive and Bayes statistics, dimensionality reduction. Next, we have developing your technical skills and getting ready for the test. Firstly, we have statistical analysis. The majority of data science uses computation to express mathematical concepts. So, if you want to work in data science, you must have a firm grasp of mathematical and statistical ideas. Next, we have working with data. Data scientists obviously need to be skilled at working with data. However, hiring managers want to know that you are familiar with and confident working with the complete data science process. The first step in working with data is to source it. You must therefore show in your data science interview that you are capable of selecting data sources and extracting the desired data. The next phase in the data science process is cleaning data. So be prepared to show these abilities as well. Finally, you will need to examine your data using tools. Next step is regarding programming. It is not necessary for all data scientists to have programming experience, but it is quite beneficial to know how to code. If you are just starting out with data science programming, Python and R are both good options. Lastly, we have visualization and modeling. A key component of a data scientist's job is presenting their findings. To accomplish this successfully, you must communicate technical concepts to non-technical stakeholders, put your findings into plain language, and use charts as well as visualization. With that, we have come to the conclusion, and it is indisputable that the advice offered in this video will enable you to complete this procedure with a better success rate, despite the broad range of ideas that you will need to cover in data science for any type of interview that you plan to take up in the near future. I would strongly advise giving these suggestions a go and putting them to test if you want to improve and be more successful in your interview process. And that's it for this video. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.